Hey guys, so a few days ago there was a question in one of the communities around the template element in a Bricks Builder. Um, and the question is around whether to use render without wrapper or not. And for newbies or people who are not familiar with this, it can be a little bit confusing as to what that even means or whether you should use it or not. So I want to clarify what this actually does. Um, and it's not only the template widget that has that, the code snippet uh, widget has that, there's a few other widgets that have this. I want to explain what it actually is and whether you should use it or not. Uh, so I'm going to show you an example here, where first of all I'm going to look at this first example here. So I've got a template element, uh, and I've set that to my social icons widget, or uh, template I should say. And then I've added a couple of classes to that to change the look of it. And if we look at the next one, uh, I've got the same, very same template, but I've got different classes added to that uh, so that it appears differently. So it's a different color and different size. And on the third one, same deal, same template. All I'm doing is adding these modifier classes so that they're different size and different colors. So the idea is that you can have a single template that you've created. So this is the standard bricks section template. Um, and when you put it on a page uh, or in an editor, you can use some style overrides to change the way that that template renders. So let's just kind of delete this and show you what, are, what the difference is between templates and uh, template widgets and template inserting. So I'm going to delete that container. I'm just going to add another container here. And under that container, if I click on templates up here, I can see my social icons there. If I insert the social icons there, what I'm actually doing is inserting a copy of that template. So all of this here, so that div and all these social icons under here is a copy of that template. But that's not what we want. We want to uh, have a template which is a reference. So I'm going to show you why that would be uh, not a good thing to do. So if I duplicated this got two sets of social icons now if I change this icon here to something different um, that only affects that set of icons because this is a copy of the template it's not a reference to the original template all right so inserting a template from here is going to give you a copy of the template which you can then edit so I'm going to delete those I'm going to show you the difference if we now, instead of doing that, if we use the Bricks template widget, so we're going to add that or element, whatever you like to call it, um, and on that template, we we're going to tell it to use our social icons template. Over here, we've only got the one element, which is actually a reference to that template. If I duplicate that, and if I come back to, I'm just going to save that. If I come back to my social icons template here, and let's say I change, actually let's change this Pinterest one here. I know there's a different logo for that. So if I change this Pinterest logo to the filled Pinterest logo, so I've changed it there and save that. Come back to the build. I'm just going to refresh. And you'll see that both of these are updated because this is a reference to the template. It's not a copy of the template. So the template widget is a reference. The insert is a copy. All right. Now, that said, so let's have a look at the main question here. Render with or render without a wrapper. So if I, by default, it's rendering without a wrapper. Uh, sorry, it's rendering with a wrapper. because that, That's switched off. I want to put a modifier, say for example in the second template, I'm going to use my social icons. Uh, I'm going to make it large and I'm going to add my social icons. Uh, we're going to call that primary. So now, even though that is exactly the same template, so that is referencing the same template here, my second one is using a large version and it's got a different color. So we've overridden some of the styling in there to make this happen. Now, the reason that happens is because we have a wrapper around that uh, template, which can actually, uh, we can apply these classes here too. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to show you what I mean in the front end. 
have a look at the actual DOM for this. If we look at the DOM for that container, where are we? There's our social icons. So what we have is we've got a div here, which is a brxc-template, and then we've got our social icons large and our social icons primary, which is what we added here. Now, if I leave those classes there and I tell it to render it without a wrapper, it makes no difference in the editor because in the editor, it's actually got a wrapper around here that you can't see and, you, and it's applying these classes to that. So if I save that here, what we're going to find is in the editor, it looks right, but in the front end, we've lost our styles. And the reason for that is because we no longer have our wrapper around the social icons. Um, so there's nothing for bricks to apply these classes to. So if you're going to change styles, if you're going to target styles with modifiers, etc., you need to have a wrapper to do that. Now, this is only from a CSS perspective. You might have a JavaScript reason. So you might want to target these differently with JavaScript based on a selector. So a CSS selector. Uh, so you need a wrapper then as well. So I would say probably 90% of the time, maybe even a lot higher, when I'm going to use a template widget, I don't need a wrapper. But if I want to be able to modify that with styles, then we need a wrapper. Okay, that hopefully that makes sense. Now, so that's pretty much the reason. Now I'm going to come back to the show social icons and show you how this actually works. Uh, now this is a little bit more advanced, so we're going to come back to my, the way I standardly create my templates. So we look at the social icons here, which is a div, and we've got the social icons uh, BIM block name up here. Have a look at my style. I don't use any of these settings when I'm creating reusable templates. Um, the reason I do that is I like to have everything readable in one place. Um, so I use the CSS tab uh, and I'm not using for this um, demonstration, I'm not using any framework. So I've just created these temporary uh, color variables here, um, which I wouldn't normally do. I'd normally use a framework variable, so ACSS or core framework or whatever framework you use. Um, we wouldn't need these. We'd actually have those in our framework. This is just for demo purposes. So my actual variables that I'm going to use are these social icons and then icon size, color, hover color, and gap. So if I want to override these, all I need to do is override those variables. Now, tip here, I used to just keep these simple, like I just have icon size, color, hover color, gap, until I realized there are times where a element maybe more than one thing. For example, a card could be a card, but it could also be a testimonial. So you might want to put both classes on there. And if you do, and if you name these too simply, then you're going to have a clash between your variable names. So what I do now is I always prefix my variable names with the BEM block name, then a dash, and then the actual purpose of that variable. So make it English readable. Don't abbreviate it. Make it so that you can understand it down the track. All right, and then we have a, another root block, which is basically our standard settings here. So we're going to display flex row, and we're going to use our social icons gap for that. Uh, and then we've got our, our CSS for our actual icon. So the size and the color, and whether we're hovered or focus, we're going to change the color. So that's just changing it to a red here because that's our default. So I think up here, yep, it is. And then we create our modifiers down here. Now this is a, I won't go into that. That's to do with the sizing of the template. Uh, here's our modifiers here. So I used, I think on this one, I used the large. I did, I used the large and primary. So over here, here's my large and for my large, all I have to do is override my icon size. We target the social icons large, so the modifier and then the block, in this case, the social icons. I'll show you why shortly. So we've got the social icons large and I've got my social icons primary. I'm just overriding these two variables. Okay, simple as that. And the reason that we, we put the modifier and then the BEM block, in this case, social icons, is because of the way we structure this. So we've got a template here and we're going to put our modifiers on the wrapper of that template. And then we've got the actual BEM block after that. So having a look here, in the DOM, so if I look at the DOM here, what we have is there's our template, so this is our wrapper. So that's our opportunity to put our modifiers there. So we've got these two modifiers, 
and then it's followed by the actual BEM block. So when we're using templates, we have to make sure we put our CSS rules in the correct order. So we've got our modifier and then our BEM block, which is, doesn't make uh, a lot of sense when you first look at it. But when you see how the how Bricks does this, um, then it makes sense. So hopefully that's uh, something that is useful and makes sense to you. Uh, in summary, if you're going to style your template or target with JS, you need a wrapper. If you don't want to style it, um, then you don't need a wrapper. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening. I hope you like this. If you do, hit the subscribe. Thank you.